Hi there guys, this is Farmer Bob. Welcome back to my channel. Great man, today's video all about um, bunkers or um, silage pits or whatever you want to call it, you know, clamps, <laughs> silage clamps. <laughs> We're going to uh, quickly have a look at how to um, put a silage clamp on your map. I've had a request from one of the viewers um, how to do that. So yeah, I'm gladly, gladly oblige and um, I'll add a silage clamp here to this um, to this part of the farm. So um, yeah, stuck. Uh, get get stuck in with me. Grab a cup of coffee. Sit back and relax. And uh, yeah, join in the fun. First thing, if this is your first time, just remember to hit that subscribe. Do it right now while we are uh, on the subject. Otherwise, we tend to forget. And then also hit the like if you like this content. And um, please do share. I really appreciate. Great. Okay, guys. So first thing. Open your map and get a nice spot where you want to put the clamp. Um, a good idea, um, in this case, in my case, the, the ground isn't level. So um, it's going to be a, a bit of a mission to place it because if you, if, you, if you don't have... Mind you, the ground is level here. I'm talking trash. Um, sorry, man. Um, I actually slope the ground only from there up so it will be fine so find a spot that is level that's your best option if you don't have a level spot try and level it out and then um, place your um, clamp or, or the silage pit or what whatever you want to call it all right so I think um, a nice sunny spot maybe right there will be good next to the fence so it's out of the way Good, and now the first thing we want to do, now that we have that area selected or, or checked out, you're going to file and we're going to import. So that's our first thing we want to do is import. we we'll wait for that to open. Oh, wait, my PC is slow today. Probably busy with some updates or stuff in the back. Um, mind you, I've just started it like two minutes ago. So yeah, there's always stuff happening. Good, uh, you go to the, the actual game. Farming Simulator 19, the installation directory, go to data, go to uh, placeables, I think, if I'm correct, and find bunker silo. Yes, bunker silo is the one you want. I'm just going to put a small silo. Let's just have a look at that. You can choose any one. Bunker silo large, there's a double. Um, let's work with the medium. I'll put the medium down. So you, you double click on the medium and it will uh, drop it in your map. Select it, Control X, and place it in your placeholders folder. That one there. Drop it there, because that's the place where it needs to reside. And then Control B, and just drop it here on your map. And then rotate it. Get the right spot for you so for you to put it um, nicely like that. And we're gonna go close to the to the fence. Close to the fence, close to the fence. Mind you, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave a bit of a gap so I can go through there with a the mower and a tractor in case you want to uh mow and stuff behind it, you know. Who knows? Alright, so that is now placed. Now the next step obviously is to um grab our tool for the what I'm going to do here, let's work on ninety degrees because that is our best way if you try and keep these things um, uh, um, uh, level with 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 the degrees in other words um, 90 90 or 180 degrees on the rotation then it will make this following step very easy if you can't then you're just gonna have to go close and um, work 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 carefully all right so mud dark we don't want we want concrete we want a concrete floor for it select that go to square and you'll see now what I mean so there you are so we're gonna just place a, a concrete uh, floor for this which actually now means if I go wider which I normally do then it uh, it wouldn't be wouldn't be necessary to um, to actually um, mow there behind it so let us rather go and place this like that and then we can put that concrete there right like so doop doop 
and dupe oh that one wasn't good nope control z didn't like that placement here you go all right so that's fairly good and now we go here we just remove the grass in order to do that we have to select grass and then you right click to diesel to to remove And normally it helps if you make this square a tiny bit bigger than your than your concrete just to get rid of all the grass everywhere. So there you go. Oh, there's a little bit still left there. Okay. That's close enough. Okay, so now our bunker is, is placed. But it's not working yet because there's nothing really uh, telling the game that that's a bunker and there's no triggers, nothing on it. So the next thing you want to do is grab your um, tip collision. Just going to go tip call there. Make sure tip call is selected here by the info layer. Just go there to tip call. And I'm going to just put the strip of tip call here. Oops, you can deselect with this um, with this tool. Like so, here's a nice little strip. You do the other side too. This is just so that your um, so that your um, grass and stuff that you chuck on it um, don't run through underneath the concrete um, oh, it's a bit big oh, we can come back and make it smaller again I've had on, on, on times that you um, the grass comes out underneath the wall if you chuck grass in the um, silo clamp you fill it and then another thing just to make sure I will check that now is on the attributes right I think that's alright good now the next thing to do is just check the attributes of the um, is it now nice yeah want to make sure the next thing to do is check the attributes of the bunker itself so go there um, just make sure that under your rigid body collision is selected because otherwise um, that is going to be a problem okay so that is selected so that's all good it should be because it's part of the in-game stuff you know but you never know just make sure all right so now that we have our bunker now we're going to go into the actual um, uh, actual map into your maps XML the default items and we're going to add that now to the default items uh, we don't want to update now now to get a line for that so this is my maps um, default items so we want to get the the correct line from the game that you have taken it from so um, my map is a US map so we're going into the directory of um, the game again data uh, place uh, no maps sorry and then uh, is it maps US let me just have a look no sorry not the yeah you saw map DE items so I've got the map US so it doesn't really matter they're both the same it's just the same working so just grab the one that says uh, map DE items okay guys uh, a good exercise is to check your default items of the the two maps um, and in my case none of them has got a bunker silo in it so yeah um, then obviously we are on to the next way to find the correct line so just follow my follow my lead and then I'll show you how to get the right line um, so yeah not none of the base game has got a bunker silo in it so yeah that's the way it is so to fix that we go into the base game Okay, so you go into the base game, load any map. In my case, I've just loaded Hogsback because we're busy with Hogsback, but it doesn't matter which one. You go purchase, um, or P for purchase. 
Uh, and I think the bunker silos are here by silos. So we're going to have a quick draw here. There they are. Find the one we've selected. We've selected the medium. So go details. And then just drop it anywhere. It doesn't matter where. Because we're going to change the the um, things the, the, the things properly. So there you go. Mind you, I see this thing places its own concrete uh, floor. Um, which actually makes my concrete floor now invalid. But it doesn't really matter. It's already there. Um, so yeah, there it is, guys. So interesting i didn't really realize that they placed their own but anyway there you go <laughs> i've never really done this this way you know uh through the game okay so once you've placed it save the game so there you go save uh escape there and, and then save and exit okay so now that you've saved the game um two things you need to remember first one is um remember to make an, uh, a mental note of your save game slot that's the first thing and then the second one is we are working in the placeholders folder which means that this bunker is not the one that's going to appear in your game so this is just the one that it's holding a place for the actual one we're placing down because we're going to place this one exactly on this coordinates so this one is in the placeholders folder which is actually not in game it's just in the editor but uh, the actual one is the one we place via the via the default items XML. So you've got two. One is fake and one is real. The real one is in the default items. All right. So the real one in, then obviously we have made a safe game. You're going to go into your farming simulator directory under documents, my games farming simulator 2019, and into the safe game that you've just saved. Now you open that. Uh, find the one that says items. Open that. And then right on top, click anywhere, press Control F to search, and then in the search, find for what you type in bunker, right? And then you click find next, and then you'll find that the BGA has got two bunkers that you don't want to use those, none of those. The one that we want is this one, the bunker silo placeable. That is the one we want. So you take, select here on the side, it's three lines, you want the between the items the item and the close item the open item close item you want so everything in there so you select three lines press control and C oh, this thing we can close we finish searching go into your default items um, find a spot somewhere there's a silo so let's uh, just drop it in here because it is a silo so drop it in there press control and V remember to remember to hit the home button so your cursor is right at the edge control and V and there it is I'll just remove a few lines there good and then um, the next things you can remove the ID you can take out we don't need an ID so delete the whole thing that says ID the next thing is uh, rotation the age we can remove and price we can remove farm ID one you want to leave that's very important Great. Uh, I want to add the a default, a default form property. Control C. I'll tell you now why. Control V. So and remember, there's a space between every um, section of um, code or whatever you want to call it. Text. Uh, the default form property. Uh, what happens if you if you change game mode? In other words, not the default one, but the um, start from scratch mode or, or the other one then this bunker will not appear on the farm if you don't have the default farm property in there it will always be on the map okay so the default farm property only appears uh, make the item appear in the first game mode the standard uh, uh, new farm manager mode or whatever that first mode is great so once you've got that we want to go back into this items we can close we don't don't use that anymore go back into the map Make sure you've got the bunker silo selected, not something underneath. If you select any of these, you'll see the the um, translations change. So have the have the the root of the of the silo selected. Press on the first um, translate X. Just click uh, click there and uh, press Control and Shift and C for copy. Go back into your um, spot here at position. That is your position. The um, the first set of coordinates uh, make sure you've got 
everything selected between the inverted commas and then you press control and V so it pastes that all three of those numbers for you in there or you can just sit manually and type them just make sure you don't mess uh, one digit because if you mess one digit it's going to be a problem great the next rotation the same click anywhere on the first X and then control shift and C for copy back into default items same draw control and V okay remember now control and V not control shift V <laughs> just control and V to paste and there you are now your bunker silo is placed and everything should be fine um, the game will load it up into that coordinates exactly as it is and you can save your default items close up close up right now the next thing is to test it in the map now what I need to do now because I've worked in the editor I need to now save the map here um, just close up everything before I save I just want to make sure I think of everything um, before I save oh I want to just do a if you have modified your ground very important if you have done anything in your map to change it m it's always a good idea to go scripts map and then create ground collision map very important that is almost imperative even if you've put this bunker down uh, do a ground collision map that is definitely the right way to go it will uh, save you some headaches ahead and then once it's done that I'll show you now where you can check my console is closed because I like to have space when I work I, w I, I normally have the console open when I open the map you know just to see to check for errors and all kinds of stuff here we are it's busy creating that collision map for us replacing the existing one in the game uh, in the map folder and there you go map and then uh, console is there let's go up here make it a bit bigger right to the bottom it will say here uh, restoring saving placement there's our two uh, the tip collision and uh, saving a collision map to the placement collision map all right so once it's done that you are ready and you can save your map whoop, like so and once it's saved uh, I now have to zip it actually I don't have to zip mine I just copy it into the maps uh, into the mods folder and then open the game because uh, you don't have to zip it to to test it um, you just copy the whole map into the mods folder and then yeah you can test it without a zip it will give you a warning that it, it won't work in multiplayer which is true but for testing purposes it's fine not to zip um, all right so let's do that I'll catch you in the map and let's test it all right well well guys that is how you do it and then obviously uh, you just set the speedo cruise to about seven hit the three and hit control I and it will chuck all your uh, um, grass window on the clamp and yes the clamp is working I'll show you now uh, just don't mind my tip on ground is not working correctly so yeah it's got a problem so don't worry about how, how the grass looks on the pit but uh, it definitely works I just want to get my things ready here so three and control I and there you go as you can see my tip on ground is not correct there's some, some problem on it that I'm still trying to figure out <laughs> But yeah, that's, that's how simple and easy it is. And then once you've done uh, tipping your grass, if you press F1, you'll get your, um, you'll get your fill level and your compacting gear. So we, once you see that, you know that your, your um, clamp is working. Now when I drive over that, it will compress, compact up, up to 100. And then obviously, once it's 100% compacted, you can jump out um, and press R to close the silo and <laughs> in my case <laughs> it looks horrible oh my word oh, but don't worry about it yeah I'm still working on that problem but yeah that's how you add a bunker silo to your map simple and easy and uh, I hope it was in uh, informative and helpful um, if you liked it please do like the video and remember to hit the subscribe and to share I really appreciate guys take care and I'll catch you next time man cheers